Hey everyone and welcome, welcome if you are new, welcome back. If you are a long time subscriber, thank you so much for watching today's video. Today I have more of a satisfying wash day. It's a kid's wash day, actually a newborn wash day. All right, this is young seven and he's not this young anymore, but I recorded some clips of me actually cleansing his hair and I just wanted to show you guys because I know you guys would want to know. Anyway, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so this is actually seven when he was first born in the hospital. You can see he doesn't have that much curl definition, but he has a ton of hair, a ton. Here's some more shots of his hair texture. Um, I was able to wash his hair and give him a wash up, but I really didn't go in and give him a full bath until after like two to three weeks later. All right, now it's time to cleanse. He is in the bathtub and his hair is dry right here, but I will soak his hair with a ton of water first. And now I'm using the cleanser I love to use on him, which is just plain Dr. Bronner soap. This is the unscented kind and it's perfect if you have sensitive skin, if the child has eczema or cradle cap or any skin irritants i find that the dr bronner's unscented soap is perfect so i do apply the soap all over and then i go in with a fine tooth comb and slowly just comb his curl as you can see he does have some curls he actually gets really good curl definition but i'm really just focusing on using this cleanser to get any sweat or dirt or anything or any impurities out of his scalp in here so i'm just taking my time doing this step So after rinsing his hair about two times, his hair and scalp are going to be very clean. His hair is going to be soft and cloud-like and just super fluffy. I don't go in with any conditioners or oils or anything like that just because I find that at the newborn stage, well for my children, that they usually do get cradle cap and I don't want to pile on any conditioners, any creams. That will just only clog the pores and also make the cradle cap worse. So I don't want to do that i didn't go in detail about what i do to treat his cradle cap in this video i'll definitely do that in an upcoming video but this is pretty much the finished result you can see so i would definitely say his texture is more of a curly wavy texture um, his hair is very soft and he has a ton of strands I know over the course of a year or two, his hair is definitely going to thicken up. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more of videos like these. I can do more of an in-depth one on what I'm doing now. Now that he's about to be five months. Yeah, he's about to be five months. So his routine has changed just slightly. I also want to mention that after he is done taking a bath, I do just add a regular baby hat just to collect any extra water sitting on his scalp. I don't want to leave any water on his scalp. Once I do take his hat off, this is what his hair looks like. He just has hat head. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Um, in these next upcoming clips is of him right now. Well, within the last month or so. So. Give this video a thumbs up, like I said. Let me know what else you want to see. 
um, I can do another cradle cap video and also an updated wash day video for him. If you want to see those, comment, I don't know, comment a, a baby emoji down in the description box. Then I'll know you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next one. Is that seven? Is that seven? He's seven. He's seven. Seven. Hey, seven. Hey, seven. Hey. Hey, seven.